Hi, I'm Brandon McElwain and I'm the Marketing Director here at State Tech and I would like to welcome you to another edition of State Tech Talks. Once again, I want to start off by saying thank you for your patience during this transition to temporary remote learning. I will say this every week that we want to remind all students, both current and incoming, to check their student ID emails daily for the latest in all information regarding classwork and registration here at State Tech. To the incoming class of 2020, May 1st is National College Decision Day. So please send us a picture with your I am State Tech sign you received in your welcome packet. Send that picture to admissions at statetechmo.edu and you have the chance to win some State Tech swag during the week of welcome this fall. And again, remember May 1st is National College Decision Day. We want you to show your State Tech pride. Hi, I'm Brandon McElwain and I am here with Becky Woodhouse, the registrar here at State Tech. And she's gonna tell us a little bit more about financial aid. Now, a lot of students for the incoming class of 2020 are starting to fill out all their information with virtual registration. And I know financial aid, a lot of questions involved. Okay. Hey students, welcome to State Tech. We're glad to have you as a student. The first thing you need to do to apply for financial aid if you have not already done so is to fill out the FAFSA. For incoming students, you fill out the 20 to 21 FAFSA form using your 2018 tax information. Go to fafsa.gov, fill that out electronically, and list our college code of 004711. After that, there are multiple steps you need to complete. The best way to stay up to date for information is to check Eagle Online. That's going to tell you what information we've received, what your next steps are. Also, check your student email account frequently because you'll be receiving updates to that account also. If you have questions, we're here to help you. Um, please feel free to do the live chat option on our website during business hours. You can also email us at financialaid at statetechmo.edu or call our toll-free number, option two. All right, and of course, it's important to get this done as soon as possible, right? Sure, yeah, we know everybody is anxious. We know these are crazy times. We are doing our best to keep things moving and get information out to you just as quickly as possible. If you do have questions, please get in touch with us. We're here to help. All right, thank you so much, Becky. We'll talk to you soon. Now it's time for our weekly State Tech Employee Spotlight. This week we meet math instructor Tina Fick here at the college and here are just a few of her answers. Question one, if you had 30 minutes of free time, how would you pass your time? She said to play the piano. Question two, if you could be any fictional character, who would you choose? She says Wonder Woman, of course. Question three, what was the last experience that made you a stronger person? Her answer, this current situation is hopefully going to make me not to take anything for granted, especially toilet paper. Question four, what is your favorite indoor or outdoor activity? And her answer, outdoors, would be mowing. It takes away stress for me, but probably annoys my neighbors because I'm doing it a lot lately. And indoors would be watching the Food Network. And question five, what advice do you give students who are struggling in school? Teachers really do care and want you to succeed. We want to help you, but you can't be afraid to ask and you must put forth the effort. Thank you, Tina, so much for chatting with us this week. Want to be a social distancing intramural champion? Well, State Tech wants all students, faculty, staff, and administration to practice healthy social distancing behaviors during this COVID-19 pandemic. Everyone currently has a chance to win by getting a bingo on this bingo card or by completing this State Tech activity book or by taking part in one of our weekly State Tech trivia contests. Just add a picture to social media using the hashtag State Tech Social Distance or email us the picture at State Tech Talks at statetechmo.edu. We will review, choose winners, and you could receive a prize. Who will be the next State Tech Social Distancing Champion? And our newest competition is a virtual turkey hunt. Post your turkey photos by using the hashtag State Tech Turkey Hunt. Include the beard length, spur length, and weight of the turkey for your chance to win a prize. To look at or print off any of these activities, just search for clubs and organizations on the statetechmo.edu website. Another reminder to all of the incoming class of 2020, admissions has officially started the online registration process. If you have not done so already, 
please check your email and fill out all of the proper forms. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to the admissions office via phone or by the live chat that you can see on our website, statetechmo.edu. If you were registered to attend the Missouri State Leadership and Skills Conference and have an interest in attending State Tech, you should compete in our Skills USA 2020 Video Scholarship Competition. We have already started to receive some amazing submissions. For a complete list of who qualifies, as well as all the rules and the regulations, you can always visit statetechmo.edu slash skills USA. Well, that's a wrap for this week's edition of State Tech Talks. If you have any questions, you can always email us statetechtalks at statetechmo.edu. See you here next week.